The insert plane hatch by boundary command lets you create a surface plane based on selected entities that form a boundary. This is also how you can cross hatch an area because a surface plane may have a hatch pattern displayed. It's important to note that the entities must be selected before you choose the command. If you're unsure how to select entities, please watch the relevant videos. There are two conditions to this command. One, the selected entities must form a closed loop. There can be no gaps in the boundary. And two, the selected entities must join head to tail. There can be no overlapping. To insert a hatched plane inside these entities, select them and then select the command. A hatched plane is automatically inserted based on the current option settings. These settings can be found by selecting options and then plane from the menu. How to set and change these settings is explained in the tutorial titled setting and changing plane options. If the selected entities have boundaries inside boundaries, the hatching automatically allows for this. As mentioned before, this command will not work if there are gaps in the boundary. Or if the entities overlap. In these instances, there are other ways of inserting planes, which are covered in other tutorials. That completes this tutorial.